So this is um, Otto's Vault Professional uh, 2015 R2. And in past releases, when I had an item and I wanted to change the state, I could right click on it and say change state. And I would pretty much be presented with four options. Work in progress, in review, release, and obsolete. Well, this doesn't really work within my current workflow. I manufacture staplers and I need, you know, maybe I don't need that many states, maybe I need a little bit more, maybe I want a little bit more control over that. So what they've done in R2 um, of 2015, it's basically taken everything you could do with files and file life cycles and you could do the exact same thing with items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into my administration options here. And one thing we're gonna notice is that when I go to the item tab, it looks a little bit different. It's almost like there's less stuff to do in here and there actually is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the behaviors tab here. And what I wanna do is I wanna configure life cycles. Now life cycles really set a bunch of different things. One is that you can actually control what um, naming schemes are available. So the item numbering schemes are available, which revision schemes are applied to it. Um, and then you can do things as in rules and, and those type things. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start here. I'm going to create a, a new rule here so or a sort of new category. So I can see that there's a bunch of different categories here already. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it stapler because it's one of the main products we do. Let's make it black and um, obviously this is for staplers. So I'm going to click OK and I can see that new stapler category has been created. Now this isn't really, really new um, per se. Um, but I just wanted to show that I've, I've created this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my life cycles here. And what's really different here is that notice I can actually pick and there's actually item categories in here. So items now are managed by the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new um, category definition here. And I'm going to call this my um, quick release. And the process here is going to apply to staplers. So staplers, we have a high turnaround or quick turnaround. What we want to do is we want to um, have this quick release. So really what I'm going to have here is I'm going to have whip. And this is going to be for work in progress. I'm going to have another one. And it's going to be released to manufacture. And those are going to be the, the two states that are going to be available to that. Now, if I take a look at the work in progress state here, I can see the general and I can see the transitions. We can basically go from release to manufacture and back again. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of limit this to who can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit this. It's just telling me it has to save this first, which is fine. Now, what I can see here is there's some criteria that I can assign. There's some actions. So in this case, you know, when I move it to release, what I'd like to do is I'd like to synchronize any properties of that file, which is, is great. And I also want to check that any dependent um, you know, files or items. So I'm actually going to come in here and say, make sure that you know, none of the children are obsolete, but we, we don't have that anyways. And I'm going to see, make sure that any linked items are also released as well. So before we do that, I'm going to do that check on there. From a security standpoint, what I want is I really only want a handful of people to be able to do this. What I want is I just want myself and I guess the administrator if that ever happens. I don't want um, Ron Reviewer here to be able to change it from work in progress to release. So at this point, I'm only going to allow these people to do it. So I've configured that. Now from release back to work in progress in this case, when I take a look at the transitions, in this case what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually do an an action because I'd like to bump the primary revision but in this case I don't really care anybody can take this and pull this back into work in progress so it doesn't matter who they're who it is or what they're doing to do that now this one's pretty straightforward because obviously this is going to be configured kind of the same way um, because I'm only going to have these two states here so you can see that security wise um, and those type things is is set here now Notice down here, I can also set security for associated files as well. So I'm going to set the security um, so that when I'm on the, the release one here, right, we can actually configure it to who can actually modify those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add apply um, item security to the associated files so that it can't be changed. Um, and we are going to have state based 
security, right? So what I'm going to do is come in here and say, okay, Mike Thomas can have permission to read and modify files when it's in this particular state. So when it's released to manufacture, what I'm saying is that Mike Thomas can have, as you can see here, read and modify access, where everybody else is not going to have the access to that. So this is also going to be a release state, and here's the versions that we're going to control. So I kind of went through that a little bit fast, but just to show some of these options here, control, you know, what I can do with the files in that particular state, what I can do, um, you know, who has access to change the states, what happens in between state changes, which is which is great, right? Because when I'm going from from WIP here and I'm going into you know release to manufacture, you know, there's there's some things that I want to happen, right? I want to make sure that you know contained files are released, or I want to make sure that you know the associated file links are up to date. So you notice that I can come in here and, and actually have a lot of control over what gets checked and what doesn't get checked. So, you know, are the related files also up to date? So lots of different things that I can do on this and notice I can actually filter that as well. Okay, so I've gone through and I've basically created this quick release lifecycle um, definition that I've associated with the um, stapler category. So again, when I, when I click OK here, um, I can see now that if I pick stapler here, we actually have this quick release built into it. So now I'm able to, to do that. So um, I can see now that quick release is available on that. So we'll click close. Okay, so there's my life cycles. I can also worry about revisions. And here again, I can use the various re revisions and assign those to my particular categories as well. So I take a look at my stapler category right now. I can see that the quick release is, is, a, is applied here. So I can actually edit it from there. Or I can actually click assign, which I'm actually going to make this the default. So I'm going to click OK. Revision-wise, I can see there's only alphabetical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. Sorry, not, not edit. What I'm going to do is, whoops, I clicked help, didn't I? What I want to do is I actually want to assign here because I also want the numeric one available and then particular properties I want to include in here. So I'm going to click close here and we're going to click close. Now let's go back to my items. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my items and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the category. So notice I'm actually able to change the category now on multiple items, whereas previous to R2 it was one at a time. So I'm actually going to put this into the stapler category as we can see here. I'm going to click OK and we can see now that you know Rev A and we can see it's work in progress. Now because I've assigned that particular category, what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm actually going to change the revision. Because what I'd like to do on this one, instead of using the alphabetical, I'd actually like to use the, the um, numeric. We'll click OK. Whoops, I guess I actually got to change this. So we'll click OK, and I can see now it's been changed to, to Rev1. Okay, well, I'm looking at this. Everything looks, looks good to the stapler. Let's go to our actions. Let's come in here and change the state. I want to take this and the state I want to change this to. Whoops. So we actually want to use the quick release. Now the reason why the initial item release process was there because that's what it was set to at that item creation. I didn't pick the stapler category on item creation because it wasn't available yet. So in the future, any, any items I create on stapler will use the, the quick release state. We'll click OK. And what I want to do is release the manufacturer. It's italicized because it's, it's um, uh, release state. I'm going to click OK. And what I can see, it's gone through and actually released that for me. So just like that, it's released that upper assembly. Well, let's do the same thing here. So what I want to do is I want to change the state. The state I want, oops, we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pick this to quick release. Well, I want to pick this to release the manufacturer. I'm going to click OK. And we can see it's taken that stapler and released that to the manufacturer. So hopefully that gives you the quick little um, you know, ins and outs. There's a lot of stuff you can do there. Um, I just wanted to kind of highlight um, some of the new things that you can do with items. So you're quick, completely open now to, to controlling who can go between states, who can manage that. You can completely control how many states do you have, um, you know, what order, what's the transition between, you know, 
based on the category, what revision schemes available, what numbering scheme. You got a lot of control over your items now, which you didn't have before.